30 million Americans are living with diabetes and hoping someday to be cured. And that day could come sooner than expected, thanks to researchers at Children's Hospital here in Pittsburgh. Julie Grant is here with details on a groundbreaking procedure they're testing and what it could mean for diabetic patients. Julie. Christine and Ken, if successful, it would allow a diabetic patient to regulate their own blood, blood sugar without the need for insulin injections. This could possibly do what has never been done before, and that is cure all types of diabetes. We're headed now into the uh, special cell culture area. It's history in the making. She's working with some, some cells. At the Rangos Research Center at UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Oh, wow, that's a great colony. Surgeon and director of research Dr. George Giddis and his team have discovered a way to reprogram cells in the pancreas. Normally the pancreas makes insulin, and unfortunately diabetes, there's a problem with that. Um, so the idea would be rather than giving someone cells that make insulin, which might be rejected as a foreign thing, we can uh, induce or tweak the uh, existing cells in a diabetic patient uh, in the pancreas, tweak them into turning into insulin cells. They've engineered a safe virus that does gene therapy. And we infuse these viruses into the pancreatic tissue and it, it, it permeates through the pancreas, but then it finds the cells that are the ones that have the capability to turn into insulin cells, and then they, it makes that happen. They've pioneered a novel procedure, an infusion process using an endoscope that delivers the virus directly to the pancreas, so other cells in the body are not affected. In a human, we could go through the mouth down into the stomach to where the pancreas opening is and infuse the virus back up into the pancreas. One infusion could mean long-term results that would allow a diabetic patient to regulate their own blood sugar, replacing the need for insulin injections. The idea that you can just do a single injection and see a permanent change is, is very exciting. A clinical trial for gene therapy to treat diabetes has never been done. Dr. Giddis's team appears to be closer than ever, already having success with both mice and monkeys. Once we get a, a consistent result with the monkeys, um, we will then go to the FDA and present them with the, the trial we want to do in, in diabetic patients uh, and, and move on from there. So you're pretty close. I, I would say we're pretty close, yeah. This means closer than perhaps ever before to a cure, something that gives real hope to diabetic patients like Krista Hobel. To be reprieved of that through a cure, I, I just, that's blows my mind. It would be amazing. Krista is a lifelong athlete. She's constantly training for obstacle course races in her spare time. Her full-time job involves protecting and serving. Sex assault missing persons, Detective Hobel. Krista is a Pittsburgh police detective who investigates child abuse and sex assault cases. Bring him in. At work, the gym. This is my Dexcom. Or anywhere. I usually just take a little bit of Gatorade, um, fast-acting carbs when I'm working out. Managing her type 1 diabetes is her other full-time job. Once my body started to exercise, I feel it dropping. She credits her illness for teaching her discipline and resiliency. I think with all people with diabetes, a certain degree of resiliency um, through just the management portion of it. And I wonder what kind of athlete I would have been without diabetes. I mean, because I do think it instilled at a young age, you know, I had to grow up quickly. Um, you know, I had a chronic illness at the age of 10. That, that's a lot for a kid. This is the insulin pump. Okay. And usually when I'm working out, or I'll just stow it in the back pocket. Her positive attitude helps her through the days that are especially exhausting. Sometimes I find myself saying, like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I need a break. But in reality, there's no break. For now. But if Dr. Giddis's research translates into people, Krista may get that break. It would be groundbreaking and I mean, hopefully I would get to, to reap the benefits of that at some point. That would be amazing. I think I get more excited when I tell people about it and see their excitement. Pittsburgh could be the place. I would love to do the clinical trial. And Dr. Giddis could be the doctor. It's possible. I certainly hope that rings true. Who creates the cure. Very good. This intervention that Dr. Giddis and his team have created is the only thing so far that has shown to cure diabetes without suppressing a patient's immune system. So this is really exciting for a lot of people, giving people 
real hope. Oh, yeah, we need that for this. Yes. And is there a risk? There must be some sort of risk to this. I asked the doctor about that, and he said other than maybe a little inflammation of the pancreas, the biggest risk is that it wouldn't work or that you would need to repeat the procedure. Mm -hmm. But think about it. This was a question I asked of Krista. What if you could have that relief for one week? Would you do it? Absolutely. Wow. So. Hopefully, yeah. this will be the cure out of Pittsburgh, and that team will be the one to do it. We'll have to watch what's going on there. All right, Julie, thanks. Thank you.